Hey doing, Eric here from Chaparral Motorsports with another tech video on our Project Bolt. Today we're going to be installing Star Accessories Fork Gators, Mini Fairing, and Rear Fender Eliminator Kit. Now you may have noticed we rolled the bike off of our lift and brought it into our main shop area, and there's good reason for that. In order to install these t gators, we need to drop the fork legs down below the lower triple tree so we can slide it in. Now in your typical garage, what you would probably do is use a center jack to lift the bike up, get the front wheel just a bit off the ground so you can remove the front wheel and then lower each fork leg one at a time and slide the gators in. We're fortunate, however, in the fact that we have a crane here in our shop. So what we're gonna do is throw a strap underneath the front of the bike, lift the whole front up, drop the front end as a one single assembly, and then install these gators and reassemble it all at one time. Before we get started, we wanna take note of this groove right here, because this is gonna be exactly where we wanna return the fork leg when we get everything tightened back down. So basically what we're gonna do is loosen all the pinch bolts on the left and right side. So we've got the one here at the top tree, this one here at the front signal bracket, and then these two here on the lower tree. On this side as well, we gotta remove the brake caliper. So we're gonna remove this uh, brake hose bracket followed by the caliper, and then we can drop everything down, slide the fork gators in, and then button everything back up. So when it comes to installing the fork gators, like I said, you want to move the plastic guard at the top of the fork slider, and then when you slide the gators on, the larger section goes on first, because that will then go over the top of the slider. And you're going to zip tie that down so that it's zip tied to the top of the slider. Then leave the top section, the smaller section of the gator, unzip tied until you have the front end fully extended, because that way it'll pull the gator all the way up to the top, and then you can zip tie the top down. Now that we have the fork gators installed, we're going to roll the bike back onto our lift, and install the mini fairing and the rear fender eliminator kit. So we've got the bike back in our shop. It's secured to the lift. We're gonna go ahead and install the Star Accessories mini fairing. Basically, it has two brackets that mount to the fairing, as you see here. Also, the windscreen is secured with these fasteners. Basically, it's gonna slip over, the mounts are gonna slip over the back side of the headlight. Then it has these mounts that secure to the back of the uh, upper fork tubes. And it's got like a jigsaw puzzle which will fit here. As you can see, we've got this taped off to protect the paint as we slide it over the back of the headlight housing. It goes together really quickly. There's hardware that bolts it all together. We're gonna to slam it together real quick right now for you. So it's a little bit easier to work with if you have two people because basically what you wanna do is even out the gap between the headlight bezel and the fairing. You're gonna take this mount here. Like I said, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. It's gonna fit with the front mount like that, piece it together. Once we have it aligned around the headlight as we want, we're gonna throw a dab of thread locker on the fastener and tighten all the fasteners down. All right, so now that we got the mini fairing installed, we can move to the back of the bike and install the license bracket kit. Okay, so we're gonna start the inner fender eliminator kit by unlocking the side cover and removing it from the bike. Next, we're going to remove the seat bolt so we can get the seat off the bike. Next, we need to disconnect the electrical to the turn signals and the brake light. Next, we're going to remove the four bolts that hold the fender to the frame. So these two here and then the two on the opposite side. I'm going to bring Matt in so that he can hold the fender up as we undo these bolts. So now we're going to set the fender down upside down on this table here. Give it a sturdy place to work. And we'll start by removing these two side bolts. Next we're going to remove these two bolts that hold this bracket for the license plate wire. Next, we'll remove these two bolts along with the washers and grommets for the license plate light. Next, we can pull the inner fender back and disconnect the turn signals. Left is gray, black is right. Keep that in mind. Okay, we can set that aside. 
Next, we need to remove the fender supports along with the sissy bar that we previously installed so that we can remove the turn signals from the fender supports. Next, we're going to use an open-ended wrench to remove the turn signals from the fender supports. We're going to start the assembly by bolting the reflector bracket to the license bracket using the supplied hardware. Next we're going to use these rubber grommets, these collar washers and these nuts that we pulled off the fender to install on the license bracket. We're going to use these to secure the license plate light to the bracket. The collars are going to go into the back side through the grommets. Next, we'll feed the wiring for the light through the center hole and align the studs through the holes where the grommets were. We'll use these nuts to thread onto the studs and secure the light. Next, we need to remove the rubber bumper for the license plate on the stock assembly and install it on the new bracket. Next, we can install the long reflector that came with the kit onto the bracket. Next, we're going to remove the stock round reflectors and install them on the new bracket. Next, we're going to use these set screws and we're going to thread them in to the turn signal brackets and they'll be used as locators for when we install the turn signals. They'll go into these holes here. Next, we will mount the turn signals to their brackets, gray terminal goes on the left side, black terminal will go on the right. So we'll thread it through the hole here, use our set screw as locator pin, and then use the stock hardware to secure it to the bracket. Next we're going to secure this bracket to the license bracket using the supplied hardware, just one little bolt. Next we will mount the turn signal brackets to the entire assembly using the supplied hardware. Now we're going to install the license mount and turn signal assembly into the rear fender and connect the wiring back up. Then we're going to reuse these stock bolts to secure the assembly to the inside of the fender. Then we're going to reuse these nuts to secure the assembly to the underside of the fender at the tail end. Then we're going to use these zip ties that came with the kit to secure the wires to the sides of the inside of the fender. And then bolt it up. In the kit are these rubber caps, there's two of them, they will fit in these holes here where the stock turn signals used to be. Then we can finish up by reinstalling the seat and the side cover. So there it is, in a short period of time and with some basic hand tools, we were able to give this bolt quite a different look by installing Star Accessories fork gaiters, mini fairing, and rear fender eliminator kit. In our next video, we're going to be installing a set of Star Accessory saddlebags on this bolt. Now remember, if you've seen any of the accessories on this bike that you really like for your bolt, we've got three ways for you to shop. You can call and speak to our knowledgeable sales staff. You can click your way through a great experience at shopmoto.com, or you can come visit us at our 160,000 square foot Motorsport Superstore. As always, thank you for watching and enjoy your ride.